DeKalb County CEO Burl Ellis names William Spencer Wilson as the recipient of this year's Individual Youth Volunteer Award. Like most 13-year-olds, William Spencer Wilson, or Spencer to his friends, spends a lot of his time playing music, doing homework, and palling around with his younger sisters. But it's the unselfish time Spencer dedicates to helping nurse his friend back to health, which makes him truly stand out and pushes him to the head of the class. Who's next, says Mr. Gorf? Yes, the girl in the polka dot shirt. Understandably fatigued from a day full of physical therapy and medicine, Jason Tyler seemed withdrawn at the beginning of our visit. But as Spencer reads, a smile, a laugh, and the healing power of compassion for one's fellow man fills the room. We all just felt so bad. I mean, it's it just totally random. He was, he was just happy and energetic the week before, and then it just kind of happened, and we all just really felt sorry for him and what he had to go through. The boys' friendship began in December of last year when word swept through the halls of Henderson Middle School that the kind-hearted eighth grader, full of laughter and fun, was in the hospital due to what was eventually determined to be a brain hemorrhage. So we started going once a week or twice a week and visiting, and I actually brought a book and started reading out loud to him. And we just talked to him. Fast forward eight weeks, and Jason, the young man who doctors said would either succumb to the bleeding in his brain, or at best, would never walk or talk again, awoke from the coma to the surprise of his family and to the delight of his new friend, who had read more than half a dozen books to him during those 65 quiet, lonely days in the hospital. Yeah, he's gone from being barely able to move to being, um, he can move much better now. I mean, it was very slow. It took a couple months, and, and in that time, he learned how to move a finger. But he can now move a little bit more. Every, every little step is huge. He's now actually a pilot program for people like him. They're, what, he, what he's had to go through, other people are going through, and now they're using what happened to him to help base off other people's procedures. Injured in an unrelated incident, Jason's mom asked us not to show her on camera. But during this session, where the boys got together to once again share in a story which bonds them with laughter, she told us about her loneliest hours sitting by her son's bedside. In her darkest moments, Regine Tyler says it was through her own faith and the kindness of a family whom she'd never met before this tragic event that she was able to find hope. He's an old soul. Because it's impossible at that age, at such a young age, to be so committed to helping someone else. I don't know a lot of children like that, even adults. You know, we get tired. The purpose is just to make us understand that uh, love is stronger than anything else we can heal. I'm happy I get some credit, but we had a huge POS night for Jason where we raised a couple thousand dollars for him and for his rent and everything. A lot of people that knew him from school volunteered to help work there, and a lot more people from school went and actually bought dishes there. And so it, it really goes to all those people who, and they're not getting all the credit they could have. In all, Spencer helped raise more than $10,000 to help with Jason's medical expenses. His family secured 18 months of rent for the Tyler family, and Spencer even used his own winter break from school to help out during Jason's physical therapy sessions. It's definitely worth to take away from another activity to do, to just help somebody. Um, it, it makes you feel better and it makes them feel better. I mean, baseball practice or helping a kid get better. That's which one you want to do. Congratulations, William Spencer Wilson. You are the 2012 recipient of the CEO's Youth Volunteer Award.